Language carries the fingerprints of every generation that shaped it. So when we say the word dream, we're using a word created by people who had no concept of computers or code or digital rendering or simulation. Think about what they were trying to describe. Strange, immersive experiences where time bent, impossible things felt real, and entire worlds materialized from nothing. But what if those same people had understood modern technology? What if they had access to the knowledge that we have now? They might have described sleep like when your biological system enters low power mode, your brain boots up virtual environments. It spawns characters and PCs, distorts physics, and renders impossible architectures that feel completely real. Your subconscious becomes the prompt engine pulling fragments from waking memory to generate new realities. Instead of calling dreams magic or mystery, they might have recognized it for what it actually resembles. Dreams operate like a sophisticated simulation running on biological hardware. The word dream was humanity's placeholder term for simulation before we had the language of code. It was our first attempt to name something that generates self-contained interactive realities, much like we're doing now. Dreams gave us our earliest framework for understanding our artificially constructed worlds thousands of years before we built our first computer. So the next time someone says, I had a weird dream, try this translation. My internal engine spun up a sandbox environment to let my subconscious run experimental code. The technology was always there, we just didn't have the words for it.